Right. We are leaving Canada. Every item and belonging needs to be packed. We need to leave this place exactly how we found it because Brad and Alicia hooked us up in style to stay in this beautiful apartment. But alas, our Canadian adventure has come to an end. Have you enjoyed it? <laughs> don't want to pack. Don't want to pack. Don't want to go home. But I am just throwing this out here right now. The adventure doesn't end here. We are not just going straight from Canada home. Oh no, we've got a layover somewhere and we're going to make the most of that 24 hours and it's going to be... <laughs> My nipples going, go on, you soggy bastard. Prepare. It doesn't look a little bit bumpy, though. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! That's sick! I am the Oh no, wait! <laughs> no! Wow. Look at that. Alright, alright, alright. It is that time of the day where we have to do the dreaded pack. Lydia is trying to cram her life into a backpack and a carry-on, and she's using my suitcase to fit the rest of it in. How's it going? <laughs> um, we have somehow managed to get the suitcases closed. Bentley the dog is confused because, what is Ma doing? Hey Ma, oh. the fucking cat's back. <laughs> is it an insult to you guys to say that that cat has probably been the highlight of the trip? I know, I'm <laughs> joking. He's a... Hey Ma! All right, the bags are packed. The cat is waiting to say goodbye. And this is the last time I'm going to be saying, would you look at that view? And would you also say goodbye to it? Because we are heading to the airport now. Brad's going to take us there. And then we have got a whopping journey from Vancouver to our next destination. So. Let's say goodbye and let's rock and roll. All right, kitty cat, Mr. William Wallace. I think you know what this means, don't you? We're going, mate. We're going. It's been lovely to see you. One quick last spank before we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you next time. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Sad. You see, this is the end of one adventure but the start of another one, so... Go poke it with Come the on. stick. Oh, we are poking it with a stick. You're coming with us? Yeah! I can't already wait to return to Canada just to hang out with you guys, the ruckus, the dog. Thanks for taking us to the airport, Bentley. That is so bloody really nice of you. Oh, you know, nothing like heading to the airport and <laughs> drying your laundry out the window. For where we're going next, I don't have any clean Syndicate original clothes, so I did a last minute wash. So this is nice and damp for me to travel in. Lydia was like, told you so, won't be dry in time. Tom, why don't you explain to them how you tried to get in the car with your Yeah, I, <laughs> I tried to get in the car with my backpack on and I smacked my head on the top and I was like, ah, oh! and then readjusted to go for another attempt and smacked it again. Wearing both shoulder straps. I had to sit in with a full backpack in a vehicle. You're, I think I, I am a special boy. You are very lovely. I am a very, very special boy. You are. And here we're going. Leaving Canadiaville. You're out of here. Oh, Brad. Uh, thank you. Thank you for what? Yeah, letting us pet your cat, spank your cat for a week. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for having us. It has been such a pleasure and an honor to hang out with you. I love this dude. Are you gonna miss him? So much! And now the time has come and so we reached the final ah. curtain. I'm gonna miss you, guy. I'm gonna miss you. Dude, seriously? Thank that you was, so much. I'm so glad you guys came. Oh. I've gotta to apologize to all Tom's followers. No helicopter this time. I've been like, Oh no, no, I've no, no, no. Oh, I've been hashtagging make vlogs great again for how long now? <laughs> And I fucked up. I no, no, dude, not at all. Thank you so much. We Can had the me? best time ever. Can you pound it? Yay! Oh! <laughs> See you later, bud. I'm really gonna miss him. Hey, I love you. He's Goodbye, mate. If you ever need a cat sitter, you know where to call. We'll come. We'll come. <laughs> all right. One chapter behind us, and now the next one begins. It's, such a nice day. it's a gorgeous day. Bye. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Vancouver International Airport. Let the journey 
and the next adventure begin. As far as airports go, Canada, Vancouver's International Airport, is bloody very nice. It's got an aquarium, it's got every shop in the world a girl would want to go and spend her life savings in. But more so, it's got a Starbucks. We're just sat there on our computers and our phones, completely forgot that the time has just flown by. It's 10 to 3 and I'm pretty sure that's our plane boarding right now. Yep, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. Nothing like getting stopped at the uh, point for them to check our passports. Are we good? Yeah. Hey, thank you. I was going to say, so close yet so far. Let's go. Tickets for Iceland. Let's go. And you know, we're flying with Icelandic air. Hey, we're on this flight for some sweet amount of time. So I'm hoping she knows it. She knows what I'm waiting for. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Yay! Where are we? This one? Woo. This is now home, sweet home, for the next few hours. And I've just found out, as soon as we take off, these can go, because we're going to Iceland, not going into Canada. Canada? Let this load drop, get back in Iceland. Completed it. Uh, we'll be back, yeah, yeah. There's so much more for us to do, but we will be back. Okay. I've always wanted to try this when I'm flying and this is the first time I'm ever going to do it. Rather than using my phone to film a time lapse, I've got a GoPro with a suction mount on the window and I'm going to try and do a time lapse for as long as possible. So, fingers crossed, this works. It looks like a really good shot and I hope it comes out good. So, enjoy a time lapse. Leave a like rating if it was awesome. Will it charge? Will it charge? Yes. And perfect timing. Because the drinks have arrived. Ooh, look at the size of that thing. Like, that's a solid glass bottle. Himbrimi Old Tom Gin. <laughs> wow. They didn't have any lemonade. So seven up it is. <laughs> Cheers. Um, look at that! It looks like there's been like a massive earthquake just splitting it apart. That's mad! And right about now, dinner is being served. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it smells very nice. Oosh, damn! This thing pulls apart like butter. And it's taste. flavorful foods I've ever had on an airplane. Flippy hecka. I will randomly say, I wasn't expecting that, or that, and that. Ow. Yeah, I, d I just bit that. That was a, a, that was a little bit painful. Oh dear. Oh wow. I have half a mouthful of beef, and half a mouthful of porcelain. Oh, that did not feel good. Oh, and just like that, the lady came and replaced my meal. If anything, I've got more food and I've gained a carrot. Now, as much as I would like to stay awake for this flight, I really need to sleep so that when I wake up, it's 6am in 
Iceland because we're going forward seven hours. So. We have in three, two, one, touchdown. Oh yeah. Let the games begin. <sighs> All right, you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Because we are 100% just making this up as we go along from here. Oh, it's a bit cold for shorts. <laughs> but we are indeed now in Easter. <laughs> I came prepared. <laughs> Switched into my coat. Still repping the shorts. I'm so ready for this adventure. I'm getting excited. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, is that where we're going? Oh, spoiler. Here we are. All right. Time to pick up the whip. <laughs> New whip acquired. Go on then. Last time we were in this airport, you were like, doesn't count, doesn't count, doesn't I'm count. On you are officially. I'm like, I'm like the, egg, the dinosaur coming out the egg. Yeah. What is, what is that? Is it not olive? Wait, is that a sperm in an egg? What, what's going on? <laughs> Art. It can be whatever you want it to be, but you're officially in Iceland. Whee! So just for context, we've got this app. This is not sponsored whatsoever, but you basically tick off everywhere you've been in the world, and the app's called Bean. And Lydia's done 16% of the world. 40 countries. 40 countries. And she's about to tick off Iceland. I don't think it's going to get my Oh. 41. 60. It's still 16%, but well, you've been to another place. Here is your juice. Let's go get the car. Now, I've got to be honest, I have no idea which car we've entered. Did you just say it's so cold? Yeah, I need a hat. It's so cold. I'm wearing shorts, love. You don't know the meaning. Come on. Come on. Licence plate 42. Yeah, it's a fucking rally car. Let's go. I usually don't really have the need to share the prices of things because it's like, you know, like 30 quid a day rental. It's nothing too special. To rent the car for one day was £300. <laughs> It was 400 pounds! That, the cost of this was an entire week rental of a car in Canada. I'm saying it right now, already. I miss Lumit. <laughs> so yeah, this was 400 pounds to rent, crazy. And if you wanted to rent something like this for just a day, uh, it was over 1,200 pounds or something, it was crazy. So you better put some respect on the Mitsubishi, all right? It's a bad boy. I hope. What, Lydia? What in what world do you think that's going to work? It works. All right, the bags are in the bad boy. Let's get going. Wait, so are we back to driving on the other side of the road? No, I've been using like, I, I, I'm, I'm not driving on the left. I'm not sure. All right. Oh, old school handbrake. Let's go. Just take a some jizzard marks over there. And uh, it is an automatic, so uh, uh, let's see how fast it goes, boy. Oh, it's a bad boy! It's a bad boy! We need a name for it. Mubu. Even though okay. it's a Mitsubishi motor. Mubu, I like Mubu. Oh, Vote in the comments which which name. Bush. We're only, we're... Bush? Mitsubishi. This name's getting weirder. <laughs> Alright, we got a full tank. We're to the road. Our first roundabout in Iceland, and they drive on the right side of the road. Let's go! Let's freaking go! Yes, and this da -da 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 is our hotel. Welcome to the courtyard. Marriott? Yeah. It's a Marriott, right? Uh -huh. uh, this is where we're staying, just because we're really close to the airport. Uh, in the morning, we can return the car super, super easily uh, and drop it off, but uh, we're not allowed to check in until what time? 2 o'clock, I think. 2 p.m. And it's, it's currently... Seven minutes past seven. Seven minutes past seven. So I think they're going to hit us with a big old fat. No, wait, what? There's a petrol station at our hotel. Convenient. That is actually mad convenient. I think they're going to hit us with a hell. Goddamn no, that ain't happening. But uh, 
you gotta love a try it. You gotta love a try it. So let's go and try and check it. I know I keep talking about it, but when I did my last trip, so many people were like, oh, Tom, I wanna go. But you like, what's it like cost-wise? And I never really spoke about it. Really expensive. I'd be Don't careful. Oh, for two sandwiches and two drinks, it was like 35 quid. Ooh, this is a nice hotel. Oh, ho, 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 ho. go and touch it. Touch the lava. Touch the lava. Do it. 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 Yep, we can leave. <laughs> nice hotel, Lydia. This was actually probably one of the fairest priced hotels as well. Good news. She can check us in. However, to make the key to check us in the room is uh, but the machine's broken. So she's ringing the IT guy, and then. We're going in. Up to two, four, eight. Here we go. Ooh, this is nice. This is very nice. Hey, not as nice as Brad's apartment. Just saying. Thanks, Brad. I was just about to say, that is definitely us right before I go in someone's room. Hello. Housekeeping. Bollocks. Hey, lovely room. And look at this. A lovely view. Oh. <laughs> I did the thing again! I did the thing! Fucking idiot! A lovely view of Icelandic uh, transportation systems and uh, airport. Okay, we're completely decamping. We're taking one of the backpacks with us that we can put batteries, GoPros, everything we need in the bag and take. And more importantly, we're getting out. Bim, 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 bim. The prize possessions we now have are walking boots which are going to come in clutch because if we actually do want to try and get to the actual volcano, it's a two hour hike there and a two hour hike back. So really, really, really a uh, mad bit of hiking. That'll be the most that we've done on the journey. Like we went up on the That'll Mount the Revelstoke hike. <laughs> that will, will that be the longest walk you've ever been on? Yeah. <sighs> Not me. Oh no, Ken raised me with pure mountain training and climbing. It, it was always the most hated thing I ever did, but when you got to the top, it was worth it. Like, I didn't say that at the time when he was like, yep, we're going on a six hour hike. Kid, kids, get your bags and shoes ready. I was like, no! But then we got to the top, it was like, this is fun. I was running around with a stick and using it as a gun, so I can't really complain. But anyway, um, the plan of action is we're going to take everything that we need for the journey, leave the hotel. We're going to go around a beautiful tour, which I'm going to put on screen now. This is the list that Gummy, the guy that we met, if we do a throwback clip to when we were last in Iceland and we went to the DJI store. <laughs> There's no way. If you would have told me, I would have held it. Dude, I, I haven't heard it. You. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. As if you know. Of course. Thank you so much, no. man. The guy who worked there was an absolute legend, knew me from my videos. He was about to close the store and he kept it open for us to like get a new drone, new drone bits and everything like that. It was wicked. And he's put together us that itinerary for places for us to go for the amount of time that we're here. So that's what we're gonna do. So he recommended before the actual government announces whether it's safe to go to the volcano, go and do this tour, go check it out, go enjoy that, go and see Iceland and then see what like the police and government say. And if it's safe to do so, get our hiking boots on and get going on the four hour adventure to go and see lava. Stop with the napping, get your teeth brushed, get your stuff ready and let's rock and roll. Why are you sleeping? <laughs> I am now changed into jeans, which is not the walking attire. So I've got my shorts in my bag because I'm used to walking around in shorts in freezing cold temperatures anyway. So Tom and Lydia's Icelandic adventure begins now. Not bad for some people who only just started going on hiking adventures less than three weeks ago. Boot gang, boot gang, boot gang check. Oh yeah. It's not a boot actually. Oh. It's a hiking tree. Oh, it's a hiking trainer. Oh, I like that. Okay, so our adventure begins from the airport in Iceland, heading into Reykjavik, uh, if you say it like that. Um, just to stop off there, go to like a 24-7 store, get Lydia a hat oh, and maybe some so gloves. Hard. Get my nipples going. Go on, you saucy bastard. And then once we were a bit more prepared for the journey, Rock and roll and go. And you know what, it's worth noting that, but before we started this adventure, there was a rock chip in the window. Glad I spotted that. All right, parked up the bad boy in this underground car park. Now thinking I'm getting my kids. <laughs> ah! I literally okay. just said, and now I think I'm getting my kidneys stolen and that happened. But okay, here we are in 
the center of Reykjavik because um, Gummi, I think, he, I'm sure, it, I'm gonna call it Gummi, the, the guy from the DJI store. Um, I said, listen, if we're gonna go on this walk, he's like, yeah, you wanna get take some uh, like warm clothes with you. As the mass tour groups approach, we, we better be quick. So we're gonna get some like hats and gloves in here. I think that's all I need, a little set of gloves. Hey, what do you know? Got the finger touch for the iPhone as well. What is going to be your go-to Icelandic hat? Huh? I think maybe this. Which one are you going to pick? My ponytail out the end. Is that going to keep you warm enough or do you need a full hat? I just need my ears warm. Remember saying that. Prepared. Lydia is way more equipped for this now than me because she has waterproof, windproof pants and a thermal jumper. Please don't rain. Because if it does, I am fecked. You know how I told you, like, shit just looks like it came out of nowhere. Look at that terrain. Flipping heck. Look, look at the ground below us as well. It, they're like mini trees just made out of stone. But there's not a single tree standing in anywhere. Like, this landscape is just so mad. We're currently 19 minutes away from where we need to park up. Oh, slashing. And then begin our like walk or hike even. I don't see any smoke in the air. I didn't see as many cars on the road as I thought to expect, but we're on the way. So as we've been driving on this road, I've been like, oh, I wonder if there's actually going to be anyone here or we're going to be the only people. Look how many cars camper vans and then some there is and this then here is as well crazy well it looks like everyone's headed off in that direction oh and i can see a police siren going off over there oh dear oh dear oh dear what's the scene hi just to park up volcano yeah straight ahead left turn and park over there yeah thank nice you one. wow look did you get that yeah <laughs> look at this operator they've got they've got CCTV set up and everything for this. Wow, I really thought this was going to be kind of like out in the sticks and kind of just be how it is, but no. Holy crap. Oh. Can you see the those guys? Oh, I can't get it on camera. There's like three guys coming down on quad bikes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see them. I would pay for a quad bike to take us. Yeah. Not even lying. So not only have we got a hike, oh, we, oh, our car might not oh, even make it. car is struggling. God. Go on. Go on. Oof. Oh. oh, that is some big pothole. Oh, God. Right. If he can make it through, we can make it through. <laughs> I'm a defender driver. <laughs> but you're not We're a, probably gonna get stuck. You are not a defender. Yeah. Is that better about a bumpy ride? That out there. You don't know why they were struggling. I have no idea why they were struggling. I've got bigger poles in England than that. That's pathetic. <laughs> this is a little bit bumpy, Tom. Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> <bumpy>. <laughs> but only to the degree of a bump. Flipping egg. I can't believe we were watching them do that. Easy boys. Easy. We've finally seen the first glimpse of it. There's the smoke coming out. The plumes. The plumes. So I guess like you must see the light. Oh, you can. Can you zoom into that? The line of ants of people. So the trail goes through there, winds through the valley and must continue over. Oh, yeah, but I think okay. I can see where people have hiked onto the, the hill. Can you see them? I can uh, up there, you yeah. mean? Like yeah, you can, yeah, you can see them on the, on the edge, can't you? Yeah. That is a lot of people who want to see the volcano. Oh my gosh. Did you think your bucket list was unique until now? <sighs> Lid. Look at all those people. I am in disbelief. Walking up. Yeah, I'm honestly in disbelief that this many people wanted to come and do it. I'm in disbelief that this many people would put their lives at risk. <laughs> For real. Flipping hecka. I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Well, I do, and there's a lot of people, so if something goes wrong, there's gonna be a million people to kind of offer help. He says. First of all, let's check the temperature. Oh, 
beautiful. I almost don't want to say it, but I'm gonna. My dad would be so proud of me for going out of my own way to go on a four hour hike. You ready? You ready for this? You're ready for this. Come on. <laughs> I look like I'm wearing bin bags. A million of them. Well, you're more prepared than me, and that's the main thing. So we are parking up the car right now at 11:58. Great timing to start it. If we could do it, no. You're taking the piss. I'm in a field. They've legitimately got CCTV surveillance to work out who pays or doesn't. Flip it, heck. Okay, we'll do it. Just as a thing that I want to throw out there is I do not think I'm going to be able to get anywhere near close enough that I want to to be able to poke this. From pictures and things like that that I've seen, the people who must have got as close as they did and like putting 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 cooking pots on it and stuff like that must have approached from like a mad different angle where like the tourists aren't going and then therefore the police haven't seen them. Go ahead. Oh, hey, you never know. Imagine like two minutes later I'm filming the next clip and we're on the way to the hospital. <laughs> Do you know what I almost feel like? You know, Mount Everest, where everyone's just in a line behind each other, just following on and following on and following on. I feel like, like that. No, it's not putting me off. It's just totally not what I was expecting. And the way we got told that the walk goes as if there weren't all these people here, is you just follow the sticks all the way up until shockingly enough, you find lava. Wait, are we worldwide wilderness explorers who go hiking? We did no, hiking in Canada. One, no, one time. Yeah. Oh, okay. But like, it was supposed to be a one-time thing in Canada. And we're here again, doing it. Two times. Yeah. Oh Lord, become a hiker. We've walked past multiple people now and I'm like, I, I, like is it worth it? They're like, yeah. And I'm like, how long did it take? And I'm like, an hour. We didn't go to that We will. We'll, go, we'll get there and you'll go, oh, go on, let's do another four hours. We've got Snickers, Mars bars, ham cheese sandwiches. Monster, look at this. What a view. Are you ready to kick into third gear going up the hill? It's been all flat until this moment. Well, look at this wall. That's definitely cheating. We could have definitely slept in 20 quid. There's no way there's lava there. There's people taking pictures, but I think this is from the old flow. Look where we are, by the way. We started there. <laughs> I think this is going to be like the old lava where it's laid to rest. Uh, knew it. I knew it. Lies. It is indeed a lava graveyard. Wow. And that is how New Earth is made, ladies and gentlemen. Look how much we conquered already, flipping heck. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is my kind of hike now. T-shirt, repping the OG. Another false flag. No lava anywhere. Now, if this was all I came to see, I would be disappointed. Look at it though, there's still clearly, look, they're either geysers them, or that's magma underneath it cooling. Yeah. You can't write it. We're hiking up here, this behind us, this guy starts staring at it, I'm like, he's hopefully gonna say something eventually. And he just goes, are you syndicate? <laughs> Thanks for watching bro, yeah. I appreciate that. Hunting optic for the win, eh? <laughs> you know when I say they're everywhere? <laughs> they're everywhere. It's kind of fake news. You get to the top and you think you're there. And then you see this. The line of people just going, 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 going. So they're genuinely building the path. Hey, we reached the end of the line. They've not finished making the path yet. Whoa. That's mad. Fan worked on the digger. A good driver's there. <laughs> Damn! We got an update on this one. We'll come back. It's about 45 minutes this way. <laughs> Yippee! But we got the wind behind us, so we'll tell it. Yeah.
Yeah, to be fair, it looked like we're more on Werner Flow than near a volcano. But then again, when you uh, look that way, yeah, that's nuts. I just couldn't imagine all of that just glowing red. <sighs> Come on, that's cheating. But also something I should very much have done. I'm a cheater. Canada, Brad. I'm a cheater. Where are you? <laughs> We're not going in a helicopter. Maybe next time when we come back. We found something. It's not lava. But it looks like sulfur deposits just like bursting out of the ground. Look at it on the mountain. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, from Canada. <laughs> Look at that. That's like obsidian. Look how sharp it is. This has just become a make up your own path and make your way through the trail. Up there, round, down, and then behind that rock formation over there, and we've made it, I reckon, 20 minutes. Look at that, we're on the complete opposite side of it now. That's where we said they look like ants. We're nearly there. We are the ants. We are the mighty ants. No lava. People just sat on it. That freaking hill is not going to be fun to climb up. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Look at her. She, she, she's like, she's like, I know I have to come back up it. <laughs> yeah. Go on, girl. Smashing it. Yeah, you are. What insane timing. It has just started raining. The clouds coming just behind us. Time to get my coat on fast. I missed a good time for a joke. It's spitting! It's spitting! Everybody in the lava! The lava? Oh, imagine if it was like a hot pool here at the end. Oh, that'd be nice. Maybe nearly there. Oh my god, I can see it! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's sick! Oh! Holy mackerel! You've got the best seat in the house. Wow! Oh my God! That does not look real. Wow. Look at all the people. Wow! <laughs> How on earth was I gonna try and touch that with a stick? Lydia, where are you? You're there. What? <laughs> what? 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 Oh Don't tell me that's not worth coming seeing. That is incredible, actually. That I looks fake. I didn't, I wasn't even that asked about it, but that is actually. That looks fake, that looks like CGI. Can you feel the heat? I can feel the heat. I can honestly feel that. Wow, look how far away we are. You can feel it, can't you? Wow. Look at the amount of people. Flipping heck. Well, I think it's safe to say there was no coming here and looking at this for the stick. Oh, for God's sake. This feels like something out of a movie. Helicopters flying around, drones in the air, people with their cameras out in awe. Oh man, there's even more people here. The heat, the heat. Lid, what the heck? Flipping heck. Oh wow. That, yeah, oh you can feel the heat, can't you? That is stupid. Oh, that is, that is actually really warming. This is unbelievable. I've got you the best seats in the house, come on. Right here. This is unreal. Look at this thing go. You can just hear it splashing like water. This is easily one of the most insane things I've ever experienced in my life. Is it not for you? Every time it like puffs out the sky, like into the sky, just a heat wave. Is like, I think it's time for a like just a pure one minute video of this just madness and then a time lapse 
Wow. This thing is absolutely epic. I'm not gonna lie though, I 100% feel like I'm surrounded by a swarm of bees <laughs> or mosquitoes. Everyone's flying, yeah, everyone's flying drones. So all you can hear is more annoying than that. What? Because we've been flying all night. Yeah. My, my watch is gonna run out of battery, and this is probably the most exercise I've done in my whole life. <laughs> and your watch won't get it recorded. I won't record it. There, there. We're shooting the shot. These guys are the best drone pilots I've seen out of everyone here. So I just went up to them and was like, yo, do you guys want to showcase some footage of my vlog? Their Instagram's down below. Go check them out, show them some love. Because if there's some footage about to roll, it's going to roll now. So what's your names again? We don't know explore. And that's it. Right, I'll put the links down below. Like and subscribe to this man. That's it's my channel as well. Yeah, yeah, okay, hey, I like that. Cheers, that's called a good deal. What a nice set of lads. Yeah, so yeah, they're here shooting for the Explore Iceland uh, page to send them the drone footage because like they're obviously that good if they're working with them yeah. um, of getting up close shots of the volcano. Amazing. Yeah. So what are you doing? No, but I'm gonna try to get it out of the crate. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Which one's going in? Yeah. That one? Yeah. You're literally, you're, you're gonna fly that into it? Inside the crate. My favorite is what you said, it's an honorable death. An honorable death. Flying a drone into it, and because it's recorded, like, feeded back into the goggles, they're gonna try and recover the footage that way. All right, time for an honorable drone death. Poor drone! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Wait! What? What the hell? Is this it? No. Is that gonna have a battle scar on it? No shot. What? Did you say it hit it? Yeah, yeah. Like, we all we went upside down. Oh Maybe. my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still alive. He's still oh alive. my days. This guy's a wizard. Wait, so are you going to send it back in? I, I a proper death? Even more in until it dies. Yeah. Yeah, the Do it. The wow. What an experience this has been. And what an experience that has been. Well, see a volcano in real life? Tick list completed. However, Didn't quite poke it with a stick. Drat. I agree. Hawaii, 100%. Iceland, you win this battle. I almost just saw my first volcano and didn't say this. It's over and again. I have the higher ground. <laughs> I have the higher ground. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. And this is how I became Darth Cinder. <laughs> <laughs> I'll need it after we have to walk two hours down the hill. Oh, yeah, we'll go in a second. I just can't believe that that guy flying the drone flew it through the lava like on my video, it looked like it went in it. And he's managed to get it back. The best adventure buddy ever. Let's do this. As we're going, I'm like, I can't believe it. We've been here an hour. Does not feel like it. 
Look at that. <laughs> wow. Lydia, look at you. Look at you, Nick. There's a volcano behind you. <laughs> that is mental. <laughs> Ooh. What do you say? Oh, yeah. Imagine going bailing down this. You might not think it's steep, but. It's so steep. Oh, it's steep. What? I have stumbled you way have, too many like, times. Stumbled, so. Way too many times. So. Yeah. yeah, now listen, I'm like an agile fat cat, okay? Right. <laughs> now, the fun part begins. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be grueling. That is really what you call incredible timing. The rain's just coming in now. Everyone's packing up shop. Even the drone guys are leaving. And we're going to start the hike back. Like, no one ask me if I'm pregnant in the comments because I've just got a, a big jumper in my belly. Baby lava. Yeah. We know how long it takes to get down now. We know the route. It shouldn't take long. One foot in front of the other. Before you know it. We'll be back, and when we get to the bottom, I'm going to eat the Prince oh, Biscuit. Oh! And Apple Watch Dad, so she can't really record her outside walk. You want a biscuit? I spoke with some French guys, and I noticed that they had Prince's Biscuits. And I, I'm going to keep that as a treat until I get to the bottom like a dog. I'll tell you what, it's a good job there's a lot of people. Makes it much easier to not get lost. I was right. That hill. There's not one to go on. Oh no. I'm bleeding. That's all the magma cooling down. Wow. That is cool. Look at that. Bit nice that all that rain's passed, eh? Yeah. Wow. A nice little drizzle. Look at that to your left. Wow. That is way different from what we saw when we came up. Yeah, the sun's like green, isn't it? Yeah. It's like it's been cleaned off and shiny. That's the car park where we parked up. Hallelujah! Right? But we parked in there, yeah? Yeah. That entire road getting in, look at it. We came at the Yeah, right yeah. Time. Oh, babe. We were going to go and do the drive around the Golden Circle. Oh, it's Golden Circle. Yeah. Circle. Yeah. Golden Circle. We were going to go and do that. And it was like, wait, why are we doing that? Let's come. Well, it was like, let's come what we came to do. It was potentially on the same route. And then when we looked, yeah, it was like just two hours yeah, yeah. away from here. Yeah. And we were like, let's just go and get it over and done with yeah. it. It'll go so long, we end up doing it. I will say, I'm really good we couldn't get dead close to it. But I think it's no, the, the pictures it that I've incredible. seen, no one's actually really been fully, fully, fully close. Everyone says that it's nice to come it's Hawaii, it's slow flowing. So here it was like, can you tell how energetic she is that she can see the car? She's like, I'm nearly there! <laughs> Do you excited walk? <laughs> Lydia, should they leave a like rating? And if we get 50,000 like ratings, we'll go to Hawaii. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and look where we are. Look at the smile on my face. I'm going up, she was like, <laughs> contemplating, questioning. This is, my dad would be so proud of me because we, we, we as kids, I am now Ken. We, we, we would go walking and we'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then you'd get to the top and on the way back down, we'd be buzzing. Like, because we'd be stoked we made it, we'd be happy with where we went, and then knowing we're on the way back to the car. <laughs> I think that's the uh, perfect example of snow. Exactly. If it's been that bad, you know it's supposed to be better. <laughs> Home stretch. The whole point that was coming here was to see lava. I'm poking with a stick, but that wasn't realistic. But the fact that we even managed to see it, because the last, like you said, the last two days it's been closed. We are literally here for just over, I think like 25 hours. So if we couldn't have seen it today, we couldn't have seen it at all. And then you never know by the time we could have next come back. It might have been back. It could have laid dormant again. But honestly, Fate works in a weird way. Weird. And we met a fan. What? Who were those people that started off on that hike? I feel like I barely know them. Damn right. Damn right. And we back at the whippage. What are we calling it? Mitsu. Hey Mitsu, good to see you. Well, 
Done. <sighs> Babe, look at you and me. We never thought we'd do something like that. I know, we'll never do it again. <laughs> oh, yes, we will. Yes, we will. Tell you what, we got back to the car and they went, hey, we beat our neighbours. And I just like rang my dad. I was chatting to my dad like... Because as a kid, he used to make us go on hikes. He was like, right, pack your bags, we're going on a six-hour walk. We'd be like, oh, my gosh. And when we did it, it was worth it. So the fact that we did this was brilliant, so I rang my dad. But then we looked when we came back, and we'd beat the neighbours. They've just got back now, and I just went, we beat you. And they were like, what? I was like, we beat you. Did you go to the top? They went, yeah, I went, we beat you. And they started laughing. But we literally, we didn't skimp we on time. Smoked. We were up there for like an hour. We were up there for, we stayed for an hour at the top as well. Wow. We just ran down like hell. Wow, look at me, running on like 28 minutes sleep today. Honestly, we've had no sleep. I don't know how we're still going. 28 minutes. I had. That's all I've had when not on that plot on that flight. I think I had about two hours. <sighs> what a day! <laughs> um, Lid, there's a reason why I'm not in the car driving. It's because I saw like that play park there and we were just driving around looking for directions. Lid. I'm pretty sure that's a bouncy castle in the ground. Oh, I laughed so hard. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, none of these signs say it's closed. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> what the? <laughs> no way! I found a bouncy castle! <laughs> In the ground! You look so cool! Keep it up! Uh, yeah! I can't believe I found this after I climbed a volcano! This is epic! <laughs> oh! <sighs> You really never know what's around the corner on this channel. You really don't. That was more tiring than the four hour hike. Go ahead, go. I knew that was coming. Go ahead, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> you're, you're Did you think you'd be, oh, you got skills. Oh, go on Liddy. Go on Liddy Lid. Go on Liddy Lid. <laughs> Tell me, am I right? That's more tiring than the hike, right? Flipping heck. Good pit stop. Good pit stop. We literally just pulled in here to check directions to where we were going. Oh, it's like a kid this big going getting on it. It started raining outside, so we are going to take this as prime nap time opportunity. We've still got somewhere awesome where we're going for food tonight, which I hope we can manage to get the reservation sorted. Lydia seems to be struggling with the key. Help me, please. I'm tired. We're going to get grab a one hour nap now, then head into town, go and have some food, and then once uh, we've had dinner, we're going to, not the Blue Lagoon, because that was fully booked and fully sold out. We're going to a place called the Sky Lounge. So we're going to see how that goes. It's and it's not, Sky Lagoon. oh, I was going to say, I was going to say, it's not a lounge. It's a lagoon. We're going to the Sky Lagoon. I've never been there, but it's not far, far from the city center. So we're going to go check that out. One hour later. Oh, I've just awoken from the napping slumber that we were having. My hair looks like Ace Ventura all over the place, but it's going to have to stay like that. I was like, time to get changed and do rock and roll. And I'm like, oh no, my jeans are just covered in mud. I was like, oh, don't worry. I'll wear the pants that I wore for the wedding. And I've got grass stains on the knees. Why is there grass stains on the knees? So I can only do one thing. And that is um, decide that I'm announcing that I'm wearing short shorts in Iceland. Got a feeling that this is not the weather for uh, shorts. I have to throw this out here right now. Gummy, the guy from the DJI store, even though we didn't manage to see him today, we're going to meet up with him for a drink so I can buy a beer and say thank you. Not only did he help us with 
even knowing to come to Iceland with the volcano erupting is going above and beyond for us. I tried bringing a restaurant to go to then and it was in Icelandic and I couldn't understand like, what the operator like, machine was saying. He rang up and sorted it all out for us. How nice has this guy been? Honestly, we wouldn't have done this trip. He's been like a private tour guide oh, yeah. organising the trip. Like, such a good dude. Like, I'll put his Instagram like, down below. But like as well. It's oh. always gone wrong or if we've changed that. I mean, yeah. and we've been annoying. Like, we've changed our mind 5,000 times. Like, what should we do here? What should we do there? Like, what should we do the volcano. Absolutely. Stuff. Every time. He's replied, like, immediately. Yeah. It's um, like, he, he's a, he, he does drone stuff as well. Like, I'll put his link down below. Go and show him some love and just say, Tom said thank you so much. Like, he literally made this trip possible. He's made this trip possible. So, come here if you're watching this. You're fucking legend. Hey, look. It's Iceland in Iceland. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll let you have it, you cheesy joker. <laughs> Good spot. Good spot. I finally saw it. I'm going to try and guess and assume that that means it's free parking after six. I have no idea if it is, but we are now back in Reykjavik town centre. Well, Lydia, I can only describe walking on my feet as walking on nubs. Okay, yeah, <laughs> nub, yeah. nub, 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 say, nub, nub. Yes. You've been an excellent driver this trip. Thank Aww. you for chauffeuring me round. Oh, stop it. You've been an excellent travel buddy. I didn't fall asleep in the car once. Actually, you know what? You've been probably the best co-pilot. You just you've been been there with me, chatting with me, keeping me going as we've been driving. What was piping each other? La, 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 la. That's what it's all about. I think this is where we're going. Yeah. Grill mark. I don't remember going down here. I do. Oh, I don't remember going this way at all. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yes. This is the vibe. This is it. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Oh, yes. The last time I came here, I had whale, and it was one of the most flavorful dishes I've ever had in my life. And I've told Lydia about it time after time after time after time. Please be as good as I remember. Because the vibe of the place is exactly how I remember. I'm genuinely thinking this food is going to blow your mind. Every time we talk about Iceland, you don't talk about anything else. You don't say like, this whale. waterfall was amazing. Nope. You literally just go, the whale. So, the I'm whale. So excited. We've ordered whale, lamb chops, salmon. and salmon. We were going to get a tasty menu, but it takes two hours to do. And we have half an hour. Oh my gosh. Dish number one lamb. Oh, that looks good. Mm. Oh, Lydia, Lydia, whale. Ooh. I'm worried that if, it, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I've got to try this and I so hope it is good as I remember. It's really good. A lot smokier, a lot smokier than I remember, but incredible. Are you ready to describe what the tasting whale's like? It's mad. It is absolutely mad. H how do you describe it? It's like... <laughs> it's like the richest Wagyu ribeye anything. That is good, right? Oh, we have got no room for this. <laughs> Lydia, they brought this food out in like five minutes. The broccoli, mushrooms, fries, salmon. Oh my God. I'm going for a taste test of the lamb. Amazing. Is that good? Yeah. Lydia, this is like, it's got like a caramel flavor to it. It is stupid. Alright, this is me trying the salmon. So good. Wow, that is amazing. Oh, yeah, that was incredible. Wow. Thank you. That, that's like a, you know what I'm going to say? Dead random. It tastes so good, but it's almost like a Terry's chocolate orange salmon. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're good. They are good. They are insane. 
I have no idea, but I like it. I want it. I need more. I think that's the most balmy thing about it. The description of the whale is, the way I say it, is like flubbery. It's so smoky, yet like light, yet heavy, yet fishy. That it is stupid. If you are ever in Iceland, you have to come to this place. Like, even if it's a once in a lifetime meal, it's game changing. Ignore the food a second. The man, the myth, the legend. Thank you so much for that. Listen, I'm gonna hook you up so good as a thank you. Like, I can't even. The fact that we're here now, the fact that we're in Iceland, we went to the volcano, we've managed to eat here, is all because of you. You're a fucking wizard. I think it's worth saying to the Icelandic legend. Cheers, Cheers brother, I appreciate you. Cheers. Honestly, would not have been possible without you. Hey, listen, I'm in the light right now. Look at this guy, 22 years old. His name in Icelandic is God. <laughs> Dude, you're a machine! I'm a machine. Look at the side! <laughs> he would snap me like a twig. Thank you so much. That was amazing what is food. That? Is he not just the most awesome he person? Is the nicest person. The nicest! I can't, I can't even express how he would be on these <laughs> like, he went above and beyond for us last time, I like me and the know. boys were here. He's told you how to pronounce his name, you still keep pronouncing it wrong. How do I do it? I don't know. Goomy, Goomy, Goomy. I don't know. He's like, Gummy's fine, I'm like, sweet. But our adventure doesn't stop yet. Well, I, hang on a minute, it, it could. It could stop. It could stop yet. Because we're like an hour Because um, we're supposed to be going to a lagoon um but we're 30 minutes late so ah! one hour later we have arrived at our destination welcome to sky lagoon Ooh. oh this is nice Hoo -hoo -hoo. i have no idea what this is but we need to get in the shower <laughs> must shower before entering because we are sweaty from hike oh my god is it warm? Oh my god. It's so clear. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, this is my maid. The water is thermally, like naturally heated. Look at it. It's like a mini Jurassic Park. Wow, look at that, oh yeah, oh, beautiful, <sighs> a day of hiking, Hello, guys. beautiful warm water. This is bliss. This, this is bliss. Oh, good, great day, good food. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that is sick. Oh, let's get to the bar. It's so warm here. Did you pee? <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> yes. Bonjour. You're telling me we don't have to come back to Iceland. Oh my gosh. I didn't say we didn't have to. No, like you're telling me. No way she's telling me. This is epic. What, um, how does it compare to the Blue Lagoon? Oh, the Blue Lagoon is totally different. This is way really nicer. The Blue Lagoon is so open. It's just like blasting the air. Yeah. Do a throwback clip of when I was at the Blue Lagoon. That was crazy. Holy goddamn craziness. This is insane. This is dope. Welcome to the Blue Lagoon. Wait, is that guy? I thought that guy was in the water wearing a parka. Like, I legit thought he was wearing a parka coat but he's walking on the outside. Don't spill it, it's like 50 quid. Oh, yes. 
Cheers. Best trip ever. Best trip of my life. Easily. Canada, Revelstoke, Bam, Jasper, here. Best trip of my life, without a doubt. Without a doubt. All right, time to go inside this thing here, which apparently is, uh, you know what? I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what that is. Okay, so there's a ritual you're supposed one to do. Lagoon. Num number one was being in the lagoon. Number two, <gasps> Immediately, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Number two can go fuck itself. That was a terrible idea. Who made that? Step three. You wanted it. I didn't want it. You told me I had to do it. Oh my gosh. Lid, I've organised this private room for us to relax and enjoy. <coughs> this is taking my breath away. This is so beautiful. Holy crap. Oh my god. This is why you come at the end of the day. I know, I walked in. Don't stand there. What? This is actually nice. This is such an epic way to end our trip. We're gonna end the best holiday adventure we've ever had. We're gonna go back and see Baby Arlo. Can't wait. I say I say this often, but only at times when I truly mean it. But like, I could, if I died tomorrow, I would die a happy man. That's all the man from France said at the top of the volcano this morning. What did he say? He said, a lot of people say, if you have seen this, you can die the next day. <laughs> I, I could die a happy man. Please yeah. don't die. No, I, hey listen, tomorrow, I'm meeting Owl. It's gonna be crazy. What a trip this has been. What a trip. <laughs> There's a fourth step of bollocks. Like I don't know, was it eat seaweed? Why is everything cold? No. No. Come on, it's nice. <laughs> it's <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you know what this is like? Oh. Being near that waterfall. Oh, 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 oh. It's so cold. <sighs> My nipples. My nipples. <laughs> My nipples! Get! Yeah. I'm preparing myself for her. I swear she's turned it up then. Get me out. Hey, she opens the door. We just, we just stood here with you. She's knocking. Can we come out now, please? Please! <laughs> <laughs> we're joking. <laughs> no, but yeah, we're done with that one. <laughs> no, oh, no way. No, that is some torture, that. Oh, what is this? Right, so the next step, just grab the bubble, just grab the whole body except the face. Okay. And then you leave it on the skin and go through the steam room. Oh, heck okay. yeah. Oh, is it salt? Salt, right? Yeah. yeah. I've seen it on YouTube. Oh, shit. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> I can't believe I bump into people everywhere. Can't see anything. I have a massive cut in the centre of my chest. You put it in it. Because it said put it everywhere. I I am already my bed. Oh, what is it in here? Hydrogen meter ninety. Forty five six seven eight. 48 degrees. Ooh. What's next? Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Alright. And that completes our ritual. Does it not smell like 
dirty water. Oh yeah, well, to be fair, it does smell like sulfur, yes. But yeah, it just stinks like dirty water. No! The illusion is ruined! That is a good infinity pool though. That is a really... wow. From there, like, you can't even tell what's the sea and what's the water. Very good, very good, very nice. I'm kind of sad, today's the last day of the adventure. I don't even know if you guys can hear anything I'm saying. There's water in the microphone. What a cool spot. What a cool spot. Showered, changed, awesome. That was good fun, right? Yeah. Well done for planning it. Supervisor. She's good. Travel agent. She's like, do you want to do this? I'm like, no. She's like, do you want to do that? I'm like, no. She's like, do you want to do this? I'm like, mm. and she's like, do you want to do that? No, I'm like, I'm not. Yes. That is so untrue. I'm like, do you want to do this? He's like, no. I'm like, are you sure? I think it's a really good idea. Until you say yes. No. This place has been an absolute vibe. I would come back here for like an entire day. That was wicked. I kind of want our house to look like that. Seriously. I love the whole outside inside vibe. So cool. Hey, midday. I'm saying this right now. Would highly recommend. Like that was awesome. Oh yeah, don't go during the day. Go at the end of the night. Whew. Look at that. Just back at the hotel. Look at that plane just landed off in the distance, coming through the fog. Wow. All right, car. Bing bong. Up we go. Our Icelandic adventure. It's coming to an end. My skin feels amazing. How did yours feel? Amazing. Oh. That salt rub was lovely. Oh. Home sweet home. Oh my gosh. I'm so tired. We slept for what? Forty. Sure we, we slept for 40 minutes earlier today. So in the last like 48 hours, I've had an hour sleep. 40, I've had an hour and eight minutes sleep. Ooh. Baby, I am tired. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, no, no, if no. you have enjoyed our vlogs, leave a like rating, click subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, Bye. Really big adventure for the, the the biggest adventure of my life yet <laughs>